Hi, my name is Rashad Brown, Sergeant United States Marine Corps, class of 05, and this is my Orange Nation experience. Been in the Marine Corps for eight years. I chose the Marine Corps because we leave from the front. I could easily pick the Army, Navy, or even the Air Force, but the Marines, we separate ourselves from everybody else. I am an aviation ordnance man. Uh, we deal with ordnance, we deal with uh, F-18s. Our, basically, our job is to make sure our ordnance work for the guys on the ground. I've been deployed twice. I've been to six different countries. I've been to Malaysia, I've been to um, Manus, Kyrgyzstan. I've been to Spain, I've been to Afghanistan, of course. I was deployed in Afghanistan in 2010. I participated in Operation Enduring Freedom. Um, basically, we're doing operation out of Afghanistan, um, saving the people out there, um, supporting our guys on the ground, and uh, supporting whatever specific mission that was out there. I transferred to Valhalla in 2003, um, towards the end of my sophomore year. To, to Valhalla is a night and day difference, um, for the better actually. Um, I went from people not really caring about school to actually experiencing people who care about this, their studies, their education, their, uh, where they're going to go to college, um, take care of themselves. Um, I played football, I ran track, I wrestled. Um, all of those people I still talk to today. Um, I still consider them brothers every time I see them. I give them a hug. It's been a different experience. I'm glad I actually had that experience because without it, I honestly don't know where I'll be right now. I am the first of my family to go to Valhalla. I am the oldest of seven kids. So there were seven of us that all went through Valhalla. Um, I think it's been a great experience for my family. Uh, my mother still coaches there. Favorite class, American history. For some reason, I love American history. Obviously, I'm serving America. I love America, I love what I do. What I would say to someone thinking about joining the Marine Corps is you can't go wrong with the decision. Yes, I'm not gonna lie and say it's not tough, but since when is anything worth having easy? The Marine Corps has been one of the best experiences I've ever had. Uh, from leadership, from discipline, from having a family and taking care of my family and friends and being able to see everything all over the world, help different people, see different things, experience different things in different cultures. Uh, it's been the ex best experience of my life. Um, being in the Marine Corps, I received three Navy Marine Corps Achievement Medals. Um, you achieve those basically from doing your job, but going above and beyond. Um, I won three of those. Not a lot of people have one of those. I know people who've been in for 18 years who don't have one. So I, I've been lucky to have three. Um, right now, well, this past year, I actually won Marine of the Year and Ordnance of the Year. So those two things are very prestigious. I'm very humble and grateful to achieve those things. Um, this is not something everybody gets to achieve and gets to do. Um, I am very grateful for the position I'm in, for my leadership allowing me to be in the position I'm in. And to be able to run my own crew, run my shop. I am in charge of 23 Marines. And I got 23 Marines under my command, under my charge. I take care of them. Um, I took them to Afghanistan, I took them to Japan, and we all came back with everything attached, arms, legs, uh, missions were accomplished, and uh, I take great pride in that. Uh, to get nominated for Marine of the Year, uh, your leadership has to see something special in you, something different. I'm not gonna say I'm that special guy. I still don't think I deserve that award, but I feel that my resume has spoke for itself. It's all about your actions. Uh, your actions will always speak louder than your words and someone up there saw my actions and they thought it was adequate to be nominated for uh, Marine of the Year. Well, my life goes, I actually don't plan to be in the Marine Corps forever. Um, I would like to eventually come back home. I'm stationed in Texas right now. I would like to eventually come back home, 
um, open up our own training facility, reach out to young people, help mold young people, and uh, help them go into the right direction. Um, I've been fortunate to have the guidance I've had to be in the position I'm in today. I wouldn't be successful without all those people being in my life. And now I want to be that person in that individual's life where I help them to achieve a certain goal or a certain dream they never thought that they could accomplish. Yeah, uh, I'd like to shout out to my mother, of course, who is still coaching at Valhalla. Hi, Mom. Um, shout out to all my siblings who went through there. Um, they have definitely made the Brown name a household name. Uh, I am grateful for all the teachers, all the coaches I've had in the past. Um, they also helped mold me to be in the position I'm in today. I'm very grateful to even be part of this interview. And um, I hope this um, influenced someone to do the right thing and be something great. Yeah.